Today I am going to show you, as promised, how to clean out your dryer from the excess lint because it doesn't always get caught in the um, dryer lint trap. A lot of times it, when you pull it out, falls down inside of the lint trap and gets into the internal components and inside of the cabinet of the dryer. And this is what causes dryer fires, so you want to be careful of that. If you've never ever cleaned out your dryer, this is to tell you that you need to do it. It will decrease your drying time so that it stays accurate. It will prolong the life of the dryer. And there are three to four different fuses inside of your dryer. One, um, two of them run to heat um, to tell it to, to get to a certain temperature and to not go above that. It's a high limit and a low limit thermostat, I believe it's called. And then there is a um, safety cutoff fuse and that will blow if it's totally blocked and it cannot be reset. None of these fuses can be reset. So what you need to do is to keep it free of lint and <clears throat> then it won't blow the fuse. It will run better, um, giving you shorter drying times and it will run like new. So if you're having problems with your clothes not getting dry all the way, start with this because a lot of times it's a blocked air duct. And that can be from the back of the dryer venting to the outside of the house. It can be that an animal got in on the outside, which you, I'm scared to death to put my hand in there to find a dead animal, um, but it's got to be done. So wear gloves or whatever to do that section. This dryer is not hooked up to anything. Um, it's sitting in the breezeway of our home. And uh, we are just going to um, get this one ready to put into a rental house. So I'm going to show you how to open up the cabinet. This particular dryer does not have the dryer um, lint trap on the top and there's lots of videos on YouTube that will show you how to clean out a dryer that has the lint trap on top. Not so many, if any. Um, I had problems doing this and learned how to do it from the Sears um, repair crew that came out when the um, washer and dryer were under warranty still. So I watched them do it and learned how to do it myself. It cost about $160 for the service call for just the dryer. Um, when they came out to just do the service and cleaning on it. So this could save you quite a bit of money just in that maintenance of not having somebody um, come out to do it for you when you can do it yourself. And ladies, you can do this yourself. You don't need any help. You just need the kids to not get the tools and hurt themselves. Um, for this particular dryer, all I need is a nut driver. Um, and it's, um, I want to say, maybe one eighth inch or one quarter inch. Um, but it's just a basic nut driver that holds a um, drill bit. So if a drill bit fits in it, it's the size that you need. Sometimes um, different brands, uh, it will be slightly off. Um, I found, uh, I've I cleaned these out before um, with the rentals, that the Amanas and Maytags, um, before they were bought out by Whirlpool this last year or so, uh, use different size nuts. So I always keep a couple different nut drivers around for that. So let's show you how to open it up. And the only tools I'm going to need, this uh, cabinet opens up down on the bottom, is my nut driver and um, a spatula. Um, this is just a spatula that we have for doing repairs on drywall. And there's two brackets here and here that hold it down. And if you look in there, you can see it. Um, this one was loose, so I didn't have to push it down. It's a little bit bent. This one is caught. So what you're going to do is just put that in there and push down. And this is the bracket that's holding that on. Um, I believe it's uh, a tension spring. And it sits on these two clips here. This is the um, cabinet that is holding the um, lint trap. And this will clean up all this blue. Um, looks like it's a, some ink of some kind or a crayon that got in there. Uh, soft scrub with bleach will clean this up real good. The felt on this is brand new. Um, I don't think this dryer was either used a lot or this felt was just replaced. Um, you have to take this out to be able to access um, all this. And the uh, tenants who had this dryer told me that they had um, opened this up and blown it out. The inside of the cabinet is in really good clean shape. There's just a little bit of lint and this is what causes the dryer fires because it gets against those heating coils and the heat in there gets so hot that it can, just from being in there, um, for lack of a better word, I guess I'll say it'll self-combust. Um, this particular type has 
um, two screws that hold this on. And this one has been cleaned out. Um, you can tell it's been cleaned out because there's no excess linen here. And usually when you open this up, there's just a pile of dirt, nuts, nails, anything like that um, sitting right in there. And they, they can get pretty gross. So um, a lot of times people say, if you buy one used that's been cleaned out or serviced, I like to stick my hand up here and see if there's anything. And there's just a little bit of uh, material in there. And if you ever have thought about what is the lint, that is literally your clothes falling apart in your dryer. So the less lint that's in there, the better because that means you're not having your clothes fall apart. And if you've got a lot of lint in there, it could be because you wear a lot of cotton clothes. And if you have pets, this wheel can get really, really clogged up and it'll look like there's a material in there that looks like drywall dust. And it's basically residual soap and fine, fine particles of lint. So then what you want to do is, um, with the attachments in your vacuum, you're going to suck out anything, lint or particles inside of your dryer that you can get out. And I suggest using the brush attachment and an extension wand to get in to the areas that you can't see. I'm just using the shop vac. You can use any vacuum. <laughs> screws in a different spot so I don't accidentally suck them up. And this has already been done. Normally you would go over this and this is what you need the brush, brush attachment for is to get a lot of this out. It's good to keep this clean kind of in between servicing here because um, your fabric softener uh, can get caught up in there and block those holes and if you have um, blocked airflow then your dryer isn't getting the return air to um, circulate very well and get your clothes dry. Now generally when you do this, you get some lint in the inside of the drum. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying about pets before is, um, the amount of animal hair that gets caught up inside of a machine from it sucking in air uh, can just be tremendous and block it right off. Um, now, to put this in, there's a bracket that this sits on. This was a real simple clean out and I really like this style of dryer because of that front cabinet just popping off like it does. It's very, very quick and simple to get into the cabinet. Um, on the um, different style of dryer that the lint trap is on the top. Uh, the dryer top can get scratched from pulling the lint trap in and out. 
as well as it's harder to clean out because you have to take the whole panel off the back of the dryer and there's a long shaft going down to the bottom of the dryer from the lint trap to where it blows out. And so there's four screws that hold that in and then there's six screws along the sides of the back and then three in the middle of a U-shape to hold it all on. So you've got quite a few of these nuts and screws to have to clean out. And there's some slots here on the bottom of this panel and you're going to want to put those right into there. Um, I would suggest taking care with these. I had to replace them at a rental once and they were six dollars a piece. This one's a little bit bent. There. Not quite in all the way. But I'll have to bend that back. Stick your lint trap back in there. And that dryer's all set and ready to use with no danger of any fires or accumulated lint. And it should dry great like that for a long time. So that's how you clean out your dryer. If you have any questions, email me and I'll answer them the best I can.